all about nouns. Today we are going to learn nouns, the naming words. Nouns can be singular or plural. Nouns can be countable or uncountable. Nouns also have gender. So let's begin. Nouns are naming words. Names of person, place, things, animals, emotion or an idea. There are four kinds of nouns. Common nouns, proper nouns, collective nouns, and abstract nouns. Basically common, proper and collective nouns are nouns or the names given to things or persons or places which exist physically. Whereas abstract nouns mean an idea or an emotion which is not physically present. It is abstract. Let's talk about them at length. Common nouns. Common nouns refer to names of a person, place, thing or an animal which is general. For example, any boy, a girl. So it is a general name given. Whereas proper nouns means a special name given to a specific person, place, thing or an animal. If I say a boy, is a common noun then I would say his special name as Akhil. So Akhil is a special name. Nouns that name idea, feelings or quality is called an abstract noun. For example, honesty is the best policy. You must have heard about this famous proverb. So here honesty and policy both are abstract nouns have a look at common and proper nouns. In this you can see boy is a common noun. Can you suggest me a proper noun for this? The next one is girl. I'll give you some time to do this exercise and after that we will discuss the answers. City, country, day, Month, writer, book, school. I hope you have written your answers. Now let's see what I have written. Now please tell me, can you notice something? Yes, the first alphabet, it's in capital. So here's the tip. How to recognize proper nouns easily. You must know this, that proper nouns are always written with the first letter capital. A collective noun is a name given to a group of people, person, place, thing or animal. When we talk about them as a whole, what we will call a group of students. Please try. Grapes, a group of singers together. Ants, a group of ships, a group of wolves and wolves are really very dangerous, a group of stamps, a group of bees, oh they really sting very hard, a group of lions. So here are the answers. Nouns can be singular or plural. Singular means one and plural means more than one. So if I say chair, then the plural is chairs. You just have to put an S in the end. Tree, trees, box, boxes. It can be clearly seen that I have used ES after the spelling of box. Don't worry. Just remember a simple rule. 
the spelling of shoe with an x whenever your noun ends with s h o or an x you will always use es shoe shoes bus buses lady with a y and y changes into i e s ladies baby babies f leaf then it changes into v e s leaf leaves loaf loaves countable and uncountable nouns some nouns that we can count are called countable nouns they have singular and plural forms we use a an many some any few or a few before these nouns a bird 10 birds an umbrella some nouns that we cannot count are called uncountable nouns they are always used in the singular for example air food water salt with such nouns we use words like enough much some any little a little a lot of or plenty of before them to indicate quantity nouns are divided into four categories according to the gender and that is male masculine female feminine neuter and common noun that refers to a male is called a masculine a noun that refers to a female is called a feminine a noun that can refer to both male or female is called common ma girl baby cousin toy mountain lioness have a look at the answers If you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and in the comment box i really want to know what is your noun i mean the special name proper noun thank you for watching have a nice